10 hours. Let's try if it will fit. Stuck pretty, oh, there you go. Yeah, I know the amount of support is crazy. I need to rip off these supports. That is not going to be easy. Should I just smash it? I wish my life was supported so good. Just afraid that it will pop off to, into my eye, so. Supports went off pretty smoothly from top and back, but a lot of support stayed here. You see, I guess I need to go to garage. Probably should have started there. Okay, okay, everything went off. So I, as you can see, this is this considered to be clean. I printed it with the lowest quality possible. Still pretty good. If I will be able to prime it and paint it and work with a Dremel, I'm sure that the second one, because I need two of these, I will print with the same settings. I'm beyond excited that everything turned out 99% great, but since I do have printer, I will be doing revision for this unique model. Just a couple of touches and it will be perfect. So stay tuned. Obviously not the best painter in the world. Better than nothing. I hired better than nothing painter, which is myself. <laughs> it's barely sanded or whatever. I just want to see what's the worst paint job possible gonna look like so that I can see how much effort I need to apply. So here's a little update on printing. Second part. First of all, it printed twice as fast just because I went to having support from 20% to five, and I feel like I can go all the way down to 1% next time. Second of all, I took my first stand, this one that I already painted. I took this model and just flipped it horizontally to have it a left-sided, because this one is a right-sided. Just literally flipped it and did nothing to it. For some reason, it printed without two faces. From this side, you can see two faces, one and two. And from this side, for some reason, it skipped these faces. I couldn't even think about checking if all the faces are on the, their places, but it is what it is. I'll try to see how support works on this one. At this point, I understand that I definitely gonna print version number two because this is how 3D printing apparently works. From what I can see online, people print stuff, then they measure, then they use it for a while, and then they know like flaws of their uh, design and then they come up with the version number two. That's exactly what happened with me. But now I want to crack this uh, support open and see if I can go from 5% support all the way to like 2% or even one. So let's get back to printing and designing second one. All right, I just aborted this print because it failed from the very beginning, but that's not exciting. This is exciting. If you're on the market looking for a Dremel, you will see that all of them look disgusting. They all look ugly. They all look like my teenage years, you know? You don't want to see me on my teenage years. And this is my prime years. 10 out of 10, you know? It looks amazing. You just want this Dremel just because of looks. Everything that they do look Good. Can you tell that this is a set of tools? No, you can't, because it looks amazing. 
little boxes where you basically carry stuff. So you have this set of cool little boxes, charging station, USB type C charging station for your Dremel. Oh my God, with the rubber here, so it won't be moving at your table. I freaking want to have it on my desk. Like it's not a tool, it's just beautiful. I want to brush my teeth with it. You know, there there's a couple of more things I want to do with this thing, but that's not for YouTube. But anyway, little protected screen. So the all crap that usually comes with this kind of job uh, won't hurt your eyes. You have this protective screen, which is very convenient. Can you tell what that is? No, you can't. This is a tool to cut your pet's nails. How cool is that? This is, this is crazy. Different sizes of nails. If your pet is like, has a nail like this, if you, <laughs> if you own a bear, <laughs> you can cut uh, his uh, or hers if you have a lady bear <laughs> in your house. Please don't listen to me. Please just just subscribe. Don't listen, but just subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna have to figure out how to use this thing, but it's for your pets. You also have a little instruction and the USB Type-C cable itself. Different sending things. You have these polishing discs. Very nice. Sending discs. I think I will need this, maybe. I have no idea. There's way more space in here, so you can probably purchase additional things because it's a just regular Dremel, but uh, with the very nice locks. Tightening it and then turn it on. And then you have different speeds. Well, first impression and conclusion. This thing is very powerful and I need to learn how to use it, not to damage prototypes and products that I print. Here it is, two stands that I designed myself to hold this freaking monitor that shakes so bad to nicely hold monitor and the speaker and serve three purposes at the same time. I also bought rubber, high quality rubber with a sticky side. I'm not gonna say that this is a perfect shape, but uh, might as well just stick it like this. Yes, it does the job, it won't be sliding. One. And the purpose of it, not to slide on this table. I need another one so that monitor won't slide on this. Yeah, boy. Look at that line. Woo! That's so cool. I don't know. I, I never felt anything like this. That this. The joy of the fact that you came up with a product design and then you designed it, went through the frustration of getting, you know, to to know how the blender works and then you designed a couple of, uh, you know, product, let's call it prototypes, you know, and then you finally have the final product. But the best part is that you can buy nothing like that. Like there is no monitor holder stand to insert your speaker. Purely my idea. Three centimeters. Three centimeters from the corner is here. 
just like this. I believe those are absolutely symmetrical. Yeah, it feels definitely symmetrical. Can't tell you how happy my OCD is right now. And most importantly, that it doesn't shake as bad. It still is, because this IKEA standing desk is a crap. It's way less, so I'm so happy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, support my channel. Love you guys. Bye. I can't believe I'm done with that.